Hi everybody, this is T3 Readings and this reading is going to be for Taurus, Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what are the energies that will fall for you Taurus. Check out the link in the description box, it's going to take you to the extended. And in the extended we will see how is your person feeling about you, what are their next moves towards you, outcome of the situation, advice, oracle messages, love notes. Do check it out, it is going to be linked below. What are the coming up energies for you in love? What are the messages from your person? That's it. If you want, you can check it out. So let's see what pops out for Taurus. What is coming up for Taurus in love? Or in general as well, let's see. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Six of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Ten of Wands, Four of Cups, Four of Wands, Seven of Cups. So for now, this looks like, Taurus, you are working on yourself. I see you being in a very independent energy, okay? I think a lot of you are focused on your money. You are focused on making things happen for yourself. A lot of focus on your money okay and i feel like some of you don't have trouble staying single but you, you do not want to be with the wrong one let's just say that so maybe this independence is coming from you know heart and betrayal from the past i definitely think that your guard is up okay and you're working on yourself you're working on yourself and i don't think that you're going to be part of any bs so you're growing stabilizing yourself working a lot of like work that you're doing on yourself as well so you might be you know very like much self-care kind of a work i do see a little forward movement with in your life i was gonna say forward movement with you I see a lot of forward movement in your life with the Six of Wands energy. There is celebration. There is forward movement. Okay. Um, I see you starting something new as well in your life. So there's that thought of maybe I need to end the past cycle and move on with, with my life with a fresh new perspective. Because in the past, something was not working out for me something was not making me feel good so it does look like that there's that change of heart on your part okay now the overall energy for the reading we get the four of wands the four of cups so working on your stability definitely but i feel like there was some sort of like emotional betrayal or emotional uh somebody rejected you or somebody was not being present for you emotionally and I do feel like that caused a lot of like, is this even worth it? So whatever happened here, I do feel like I think you're in the middle of that, you know, you're in, in the middle of questioning it. I think you're questioning it, you know. Is it even worth my time and energy? Because whatever is happening in the past or right now, I am happy like in my life. But when it comes to love, is it even worth it? That kind of an energy. I see some emotional, um, lack of emotional fulfillment too. But again, you know, that could be because, I don't know. It does look like somebody had their options open, whether it be you or your person in the past. I see stability. I see growth. I see a lot of forward movement, by the way. And I do see you getting recognition in your work. So there's some sort of like a good news coming your way. Of course, we have the magician. So this is you manifesting all that you want. This is love. This is money. This is everything that you ever wanted. So you're working on yourself for sure, okay? So I definitely feel like you're in that energy where you're manifesting new things into your life. Abundance. I also see like some of you may be surrounded by new options in love. Okay, I definitely see you being the center of attention here. But there is something bothering you with the Ten of Swords energy. Something is bothering you, Taurus. What is it? What is bothering you? Some of you might even be working too hard on something. 
the two of cups ooh love love is on your mind and that is bothering you now what happened here maybe something came to an end because i feel like you're you're feeling a little bit like you're not feeling very optimistic about making things happen with this person you do there is that sense of what can i do you know yes i would like to get back with this person but what can i do what can i do here the love is mutual however you feel a little bit tired to be the one working on this eight of cups so you might even decide to walk away there this is a connection that you are walking away from because there was lack of emotional fulfillment here between you and this person but one thing i'm also getting for you taurus is that i think you're not completely walking away okay i think that you would still like to connect with this person at some point i don't think you're walking away completely we have the death card or or you are i don't know let's see the temperance okay so i think whenever you two are together there's always a problem which is why you don't want to be dealing with things that are messy so that is the reason why you're walking away but you're still you you still are looking back with hope but not like what can i do to make it better more like i've got things to focus on yes if this comes back around i would like i would like to reconnect i would like to work on things but i just don't know where is this headed towards so i'm not going to give in all of my energy into this I do feel like you're manifesting a brand new beginning in love and you know I feel like it's happening after some time though so I feel like work is doing good work is looking good other things are looking good but it's just that one connection that is not falling into place but believe me it will fall into place just not when you want it to just when it is supposed to okay we have the two of swords two of cups two of swords who's not making that choice the strength card I do feel like you're choosing to hold back Taurus there is something that you're really walking away from and you know you feel like every time you are with this person somehow you are successful at manifesting the situation but it just I feel like there's always that I don't know it doesn't last long maybe so this is a cycle that picks up pace and then it drops picks up pace and then it drops and, you, and you're you're basically tired of being a part of that cycle so i think you're healing yourself you're healing your heart um you're not making that choice okay there's something that you're definitely not making a choice about it looks like you're also uh, being curious you are also curious about what's going to happen between you and this person but you are also keeping in mind that even if you want this person you cannot do anything more than what you've already done that is also the kind of energy i am picking up on and then we have the strength card of course so this is um i see a lot of work being done here on yourself taurus self-love self-indulgence uh, listening to oneself and manifesting new things into your life which i see you being very successful at you know i do see you manifesting brand new beginnings with the four of ones being your overall energy there's stability there's happiness there is fulfillment but that is you know also coming from um you know i feel like something happened in your life that really moved you towards this energy of working towards your goals i also see some of you being surrounded by a lot of people so you might get a lot of attention i just see you being the center of attention and being a very powerful manifester however when it comes to a certain love situation it is going through its tough time okay and i feel like you're really trying hard to not be the one to fix it because you do want to fix it we have the ace of cups at the bottom with the nine of swords look at that so i do think that this is going to pick up some pace again because there's that love that is coming your way with that ace of cups which is this card is so beautiful but again i think that there is that feeling of should i even pursue this or not i feel like some of you are trying to manifest this in your life some of you are waiting on it and because it's not appearing it's kind of making you feel some type of a way to me this looks like you're holding in a lot of pain you're not really showing it but that is pretty much there you're not showing it because things look good on the outside but from the inside only you know what's going on here right Oh, your person's energy. We have the three of cups. We have the hangman in the reverse. 
Give me more energy for the person Taurus is dealing with. What about the person Taurus is dealing with? The Three of Swords. Oh, this person's feeling heartbroken. Why are they feeling heartbroken? Six of Pentacles. Okay, so maybe I feel like Taurus, this is somebody who is not fully like present in the relationship. Maybe you were the one who was doing a lot of work here and that wasn't being well, well reciprocated. But Ace of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Okay, so somebody here was not offering you the commitment or the stability in a relationship. There was love. There is still a lot of love, but there's not enough stability to continue this, which is why I think you're not doing much to save it because... You do know somebody was keeping things up in the air with you, okay? Now I kind of understand that even though love is on your mind, you just feel like you cannot pursue a situation where there's no clarity. That's why you're manifesting other things in your life. And that's why you're maybe walking away because you feel like it's better to walk away than to keep doing this and be in constant like confusion about where is this going, okay? We do have the six of pentacles energy which is again i do feel like this person would like to give into give into this situation this is somebody who enjoys your company this is somebody who likes to be with you taurus but it's just that i don't know why they're feeling heartbroken right now they're feeling all over the place with their energy okay it does look like they want to get unstuck here they want to take things forward what are the future energies for Taurus? What are the future energies? Queen of Swords. Nine of Wands. So closed off. Five of Cups, the High Priestess, and the Knight of Cups. So somebody here is closed off due to the past. Um, I feel like it's you who's closed off due to the past disappointment. It looks like some of you are really in that energy where not even one more time am i going to repeat this cycle again so you're very determined to uh, protect your energy you're very determined to protect your peace that is because you it's like it looks like you've done that inner work taurus i'm not gonna lie i feel like you've grown as a person so much so that you can recognize that yes you want this yes you want something but if it's not moving anywhere and if it's not good for you, you're ready to leave it behind and focus on other things that are going really good in your life, which is your work, which is your relationships, your relationships with other people, your friends, your family, things like that. It's just that one thing is not working out. And I do feel like you're not going to be fixated on this anymore. Because in this relationship, you have been the one who was doing all the work and that person got used to it. That's why maybe you felt a little bit like you got taken advantage of. Okay, it does look like um, somebody's ego is huge here as well. And somebody even maybe, um, I don't know, somebody was taking you for granted, I think, okay, in their energy. So it does look like you're, you got sad, you got disappointed, and then you just decided to never be in that energy again. Okay, what's coming up for you, the Knight of Cups? So at some point, Taurus, I do think that this person is going to try to reconnect with you. However, I feel like your guard is up. You're not the same person. I feel like you are, but you're doing it to protect yourself. Okay, you're thinking more logically. You're thinking more logically. Unless this person has something stable to offer you, I don't think that you're going to be the one to really take it forward. Okay, the signs that are here are... Aquarius, Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, Aries, Libra, you name it, we have it. Pisces, Leo, Scorpio, I think I said it all. Gemini is here too. So we have all signs. Let's see what the Romance Angel Oracles are saying for you. We have trust. The situation is calling in for you to have faith. I do feel like you've got trust issues with this person. <sighs> new love some of you might even be focused on new love trying to like leave the past in the past and focus on new love which is why i said that there are options in love coming your way so this could also mean that while while you are focused on the past hurt there is somebody new coming your way 
while there is somebody who ghosted you there's always that new prosperous energy surrounding you with the ace of pentacles ace of cups six of wands that is also a good news right let's see tell me more about this new love getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens then we have soulmate deception and express your love um i do feel yeah separation there's somebody that you are separating yourself from but i do see you dealing with somebody in love in general because i do see love coming in your way there could be two people coming in your way too for some of you keep that in mind soulmate deception it does look like taurus you have that sense of like i did so much to save the relationship and why couldn't this person just do the right thing was it that difficult so i do feel like you're going to be opening yourself up to love you're going to be talking to somebody new and there might be expression of love i mean not might be there is expression of love coming your way with the knight of cups and the express your love card there is somebody coming in towards you to express their love for you okay this could be a new person too or a pause person but to me this looks like you're going to be talking to somebody Get, you're going to be in that, you know, getting to know each other stage. And then there might be a pause person who comes back around, but you don't trust them. Because we have the deception card, right? So that's about it. Those were the energies that popped out for Taurus. I hope you were open to receive them. Check out the link in the description box. It's going to take you to the extended. And in the extended, we will clarify for your person. How are they feeling, thinking about you? What moves are they making towards you? Then I'm also going to clarify this new love for you. And where is this headed towards? We will clarify further love energies and um, advice for you in general and love messages from your person. So do check it out. It is going to be linked below. Okay, that's it. Give this video a like and subscribe. Take care and bye-bye.